I'm Leather Rock. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, and it is now 7.38 in the morning, tonight I went looking around for my kitty friends and I unfortunately couldn't get any of them to come home with me. Uh, Garfield was being a little bastard. But these beautiful Asian dishes I got. It was, it was this real nice lady who sometimes goes and gets the Popeye's chicken and she's been known to drop it off certain places. Well, she dropped off a pile of, these are little teacups. And uh, I didn't bring all of them. I only took the ones that had the writing on them. The ones that were just plain white. I actually moved over to this area where people distribute food and pick up food and drop off food and stuff so but you can see these are not totally matching there's two cups here and then there is i just washed them too so i gotta be careful where i set them down this little dish i used to have a number of what looked like delftware looking dishes that were probably from a chinese restaurant somewhere and through the years they were used as cat food and water bowls and most of them ended up down at the other end where the other roommate took them and probably threw them out once they got really dirty when he used them for ashtrays. So here's a nice bowl that can be used for rice, could be used for a small cup of soup. Now these dishes, since I just washed them, I'm going to keep in my room. Uh, I have a feeling that we're, we've been throwing out a lot of things, especially plastic wear that you can never quite get clean and stuff, and other things that the other roommate apparently has been using to make his own version of mouse poison. And once a poison is touched food where you really don't want to probably take your chance in eating it. Uh, look at this cup. This is a nice sturdy travel mug, and it's got a rainbow on it, and it's got this thing that seals it and keeps it from spilling and uh, it's really it's hard it's made of ceramic most travel mugs seem to be made of metal so I'm guessing it's not the sort of thing you want to drop I got two plates they're like serving plates or you can use them as a big plate and I really like the design on them so I have these two right here Isn't that cool? Uh, I want to talk about my kitty friends. Garfield was on the porch, on the steps, going to a second floor porch in this alleyway, right? And I tried to call him over to me, and he acted like he ignored me, like he didn't know me, right? Well, the heart-nosed cat saw me across the street, and he came running. And the heart-nosed cat, I remember when... He wouldn't let me get anywhere near him, and now he comes up to me, he rubs up against me, lets me pet him, lets me do this motion where I feel like I'm going to grab a cat to pick him up, but I don't quite get a grip on him. And he kind of lets me do that, but then doesn't let me uh, pick him up. And I really like to, if I can't pick up Garfield, if I could pick the heart-nosed cat up and bring him in here to do a video, which is what I was hoping to do. I was really hoping I would have a cat. And then Garfield, he goes and goes over those steps onto another person's porch and clear on to the second floor. And, you know, at this point, it's before daybreak, but this is a, people have houses here. And the last thing I want to do is trip a silent alarm or some of the houses have the lights that go on, the motion detector things. And even though I'm an innocent person that just wants to pet the cats, I can understand the concern if somebody was a homeowner or something and saw somebody close to their porch and stuff, and I didn't want to make people feel uncomfortable. Because I can only imagine the kind of riffraff that the people that actually live there must uh, be having to deal with. The crackheads and the other kinds of junkies and all that traffic. So uh, I was really feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And finally, uh, there is another cat that I saw that looked, similar to the heart-nosed cat. It was another tabby cat, but this one didn't have any distinguishing markings on him, and this one would not let me get close. So at that point, I decided that I would come in and I would do this video. 
So, aren't these uh, dishes cool? Uh, so, yeah. I really like things like this are so useful. Uh, not just for condiments and stuff, but uh, especially if you uh, don't eat really huge meals, but you eat small servings of things when you're hungry. I think this is really practical. Even though I don't understand the idea of having teacups that don't have handles, so it's very hard not to burn your hand when you're picking up your tea. That's the one thing. But the patterns alone are why I like them. And these are so wonderful. Usually you get these when you have the fancy uh, dinners and things where people walk around uh, with uh, hors d'oeuvres and things handing these to people. But they can be used also as serving spoons, and they can be used also as soup spoons. So they're very useful. Okay, I will show you something else tomorrow. Talk to you then. Bye.